All right, everybody, so there's some things that will help you in knowing how to draw a shoe. The first of all is to draw a foot. So if a foot is standing here on the ground, the back of the foot is going to be a heel. Up here from the heel is the ankle. The foot comes down, has the ball of the foot, and a toe. And then the leg comes out of there. That is the shape of our foot, which is the basis for the shape of our shoes. Um, I encourage you to practice drawing a foot, and the ankle is actually probably right about here. Sorry about that. Um, I encourage you to try drawing a foot because that will help you understand how to draw a shoe. If you can imagine, if I was drawing a high top right here, that the shoe has to fit on this foot, which is the basis of the shape of the shoe. So if you know how to draw a foot, you probably will know how to draw a shoe. All right, part two is uh, I want you to imagine that every shoe fits inside of a shoe box. Okay, this is a low top shoe box. If you're having a high top shoe box, it might be like so. Each box can be divided into three parts, basically three equal parts. Um, that is going to be the where your foot goes in, where the laces are, and where your toes are of your shoe. So if you, at the top of your shoe, draw a place for your foot, draw a diagonal line about halfway down, and then draw a curved line or a straight line over to the edge, you will have the basic shape of a shoe. You probably will add the sole of the shoe, depending on what style, underneath of that, like so. All right, so that is the basic shape. Always know that you have one-third for toes, one-third for laces, and then one-third for your leg to go in. All right, like so. So make sure you know those parts. Any shoe is basically going to be divided like this. Um, this style shoe is a little bit uh, skinnier, so we'll do it a little bit differently for this. Part three. So I want you all to make sure that you get... Um, a good chance to use your sight measuring. Remember, sight measuring is using your pencil to figure out the angles, okay? So angles is the first term of sight measuring. Second term of sight measuring is the size of everything. So if you imagine, I can use my pencil for this too, that the size of the swoosh is about the same size as the length of the laces. So we know about how big to make the swoosh based on the size of something else. We know that if we were to um, try something else, the length of this shoelace, find something else that's the same length, we know that both laces are about equal. It's also about equal to the length of this toe space. So the size of everything can be measured, and if the sizes are all correct in relationship to each other, that will make your drawing look a lot better. The second part are the spaces. Notice the space in between these two laces and the shape of that space the space between the laces in here and the shape of that, the space here, the space that is on the outside of the swoosh or above the swoosh. Notice that this space between the bottom of the swoosh and where the black starts is smaller than the space between here and here. So notice the angles and measure those. Notice the size of everything and measure those and figure it out. And notice the spaces of those things. If you have those three things, angles, sizes, and spaces, then your drawing will be much better. You'll grade yourself one through five for each one for your drawing. Do that for your do now, see how you did without using sight measuring, and then do it with your final project.